Verse 27. So John 10, 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. So when we talk about eternal security, I always bring up the question, are you really a sheep? <laughs> because God's sheep listen to Jesus's voice. And Jesus knows his sheep and his sheep follow him. And it's interesting that you bring this up, uh, Brother Rudy, because we were just going through this, and I happened to pull this up. Let me share this really quick, this statistic. And it says here that churchgoers, only 32% of them read their Bible every single day. So that's 3 out of 10. And look at down the bottom. 12% never reads God's Word. Never. But yet they consider themselves a sheep. But they never listen to Jesus' voice. So that means Jesus got it wrong here. They would, they would be saying, my sheep never hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. So that's why I bring up the question, are you really a sheep? Because if you really yeah. are, then you're listening to the voice of Jesus. Like Rudy said, we're reading his word. That's how we hear his voice, by, by, by reading you know, Jesus' words. These are his words. He's the one that said this. He's the one that says he gives you eternal life. He's the one that says you'll never perish. But you have to listen to his voice, and you have to follow him. Yeah, and I, I, I found myself when I was reading that way only a few times a week, or when I would, would I, I would start reading a few, when I would build up the, what's the word? You know, I, I would just make myself read. I would, I was still skipping over things that I didn't want to read, like, like names and uh, genealogies, right? Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't really reading. Uh, I wasn't reading over the stuff that I thought would take long. Uh, like yeah. so, a lot of those people on that stat um, are not listening the same way. I'm. I sure I wasn't when I didn't want to really listen to what he was telling me. You know, Lauren sends out a psalm every day. And I think you're you're sending Psalm 119, and then so long so you're only sending a few verses a day, but. One common theme is that the psalmist loves God's word. He loves the law. He loves God's instructions. And that's what we read every single day. <laughs> and every day we read how much he loves God's word. That's a yeah. truth there. When you, you put that, um, that statistic, that life way statistic, and I, I think it's something that um, Brother Doyle might have shared at one point when we did a Saturday, a Saturday study. It looked uh -huh. familiar. Um, and it kind of reminded me of Matthew chapter seven, uh, 13 and 14, uh, where Jesus said, uh, enter through the narrow gate for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction. And then look at this second part. And there are many who enter through it. And then verse 14, by contrast, for the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life. And there are few who find it. So when you read something like that, and then you look at John or I'm sorry, Matthew seven, um, 13 and 14 and many other scriptures it doesn't um it, it's not a surprising thing yeah a few weeks ago brother lauren shared about um is everyone a child of god and one of the proofs of a child of god was that they love god's word if you just came to christ and you're not reading god's word you can always ask the lord to put that love for his word into your heart yep absolutely I remember um, when when I was first born again. Um, I, I, I'm sure I met Brother Ponzi just a couple of weeks later, or I I might have been born again right at that time. I don't. It's hard to remember sometimes exactly <laughs> when. I guess it doesn't matter. But um, he he. I remember him praying that prayer, and I had never heard anybody pray that before because basically I was a two week old at the time, you know. So, um, but he him specifically praying that prayer. Lord, give me a, a deeper love for you. Give me a deeper love for your word. And it always stuck with me. And I, I still pray that myself because um, I don't want to become complacent, mm -hmm. you know, and I, and I do want, I do want to love it more. Um, and I don't know if it, it's ever happened to you guys before, but um, one of the things that I wanted to eventually do is to be able to read all the way through the Bible. Um, and it doesn't mean I've studied it deeply, all the way through because that's hard to do you kind of you kind of have to pick okay i'm i'm gonna work in this book or i'm gonna work in this chapter and i'm gonna i'm gonna do a deep dive or study of it but 
um, um, praise God, I finally got all the way through and now I'm going back to the beginning. And now as I'm back at the beginning, once again, new, I'm seeing new things mm -hmm. that I'm being blessed by and just new things that are kind of jumping off the page of me. So, praise um, God. yeah. And, and, and I, you know, I, like I said, I, th th it was that prayer, you know, give me a deeper love for your word, you know, and I still pray it. So. Yeah. And I'll share a note on that too. That was just like me when I, when I became a Christian, and I looked, I opened the word and I was like, man, I can't understand this. What is this all about? Yeah. And I, when I prayed to God, God, I know you want me to know your word. So please, you know, give me the, uh, allow me to, to read and understand your word. Yeah. And, and he has. Yeah. I believe there's nothing that we ask that is for our good, that, that, that we ask God, he will never hold it back from us. Never. 